again at Christchurch Lake on the Lynch Hill complex. I've been gagging to get back and I haven't been here for the last couple of weeks. I wanted to get back because of that success I had with that lovely common the last time we was here. So I've just pulled up, I've just had a quick walk around, I've just chosen to swim. It's quite busy over there as it's going to be in the springtime and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to 48 hours on here. So I'm going to load everything, I'm going to get everything sorted, I'm going to change out my work clothes, into my fishing clothes, I've just got to say it, welcome to the vlog. Right, we're in the swim. Swim called the New Bacon. There's the old bits and pieces there. The old barra, the old electric barra. This is the swim. Um, where can I say it's, uh, it's around? Right there, let's have a look out there. Have a look out there, so have a look. That's the swim out there, it looks very, very nice, doesn't it? Very, very nice, happening like that. Very, very nice, doesn't it? Mmm, looking good out there. Back of the wind. The reason why I've come on the back of the wind after having a good couple of laps was that there's about 20 rods up that end of the lake. Now, if you remember, we was in swim six on the last vlog where we had that fish from. That's right up the other end. I would have liked to have got in there to be fair, but there's someone in it, someone next door, one after that, one after that. There's uh, lots of people up that end with rods out. And there has been a couple of fish out there this morning, I believe. So I thought I'd come right at the opposite end, try and have a swim as well. Swim I haven't fished yet, so I'll give that a go. This one is called the New Bacon. And I believe from talking to my other mates, about 10 wraps out towards swim one, swim two across there. Um, yeah, have a look out there. So yeah, it looks lovely, isn't it? Nice slice in here. There's the up to the left of the swim. Lots more swims up there. There's someone looking a couple of swims up as well. And there's one little corner swim up there as well, which I'm sure we'll have a look at over the next couple of days. But yeah, I'm gonna go and take the van back. That's what you have to do here. They've got a rule here. You drop your van off in the car park, drop all your kit off in the car park, bear it round, go back and then take your van all the way back to the top car park where Stone Acres is. Then you have to walk back up. It's just it's one of them rules, just the way it is. Just the way it is on here, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Different swim, I may move tomorrow, like I always say. If a swim's become free up the other end, the fish are still up there, then I'll be moving up there. But what I'm sort of banking on this change of weather is um, that the fish are gonna get on the back of the wind and the back of the pressure as well. Right, let's leave the barra. Let's go back to the van, take it back to the car park, come back, set up, get sorted, get the rods out for the night because it's now five past five. We've got a couple of hours, three hours before it gets dark. We'll get everything sorted, we're going to get some rain in the next couple of hours as well. So, um, yeah, right, let's get sorted. See you in a little hey, while. Hey, we'll you update. Time is running out. Time waits for no man, does it? I thought I'd loads of time earlier on, but I've only just got the rods out. It's about 10 minutes before dark o'clock. Bloody knackered. Um, yeah, so I've wrapped them out. We've got three rods out there. We've got two on the spot, which is 14 wraps in line with swim number one out there, which my mate Burks is in. So in line with swim number one, 14 wraps is a big known area out there where, um, you know, where you get bites. I've seen people in here get bites this year already. So it's a known area. We've got two, I've got two bottom baits on there, um, pro stim liver, hard hook baits, uh, yeah, they're out there and on my left hand rod towards the new dig swim 11 wraps very deep out there. I was looking about 15, 16, 17 foot on both areas left hand one's a little bit dirtier. It's got a bit more weed on it. I did get a donk a couple of practice casts out there wrap that one up at 11 wraps. So yeah, not too far, which is nice, nice and easy. Right and one's mega clear. So that's 14 wraps. 
I've got two bottom baits on that one. Left hand rod, I've got a pop-up on me soft boom hinge. Now, if you haven't seen that how to tie that rig already, I'll just put a little thumbnail here. Go and do a search on the website for soft soft boom hinge hinge rig okay and you'll find it that's what i've got the left one i've got a white northern special i think it's 13 14 mil one one that's been soaking in the booster liquid and the liquid sweetener that we always do this time of year so yeah i've got those they're the three rods out there they're the three three areas wrapped them up got them out there boom 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 lovely okay um i've put five spoms on the left hand area and i've put 10 spoms on the bigger area now that consists of chop tigers whole tigers a little bit of salt i've put in there this time of year in the spring salt's always good the fish need it to um to balance their equilibrium their um their water their saline solution in them just before they spawn and after they spawn so i've got a bit of salt in there i've got some halibut pellets all different sizes and i've got mixed sizes of the pro stim in barrel 10s 15 etc etc you know i've got a handful of 18s in there so it just gives them a bit more to actually be investigating there's lots of different bits out there not too much but there's lots of different bits out there